Hi there, this is your teacher Barbara Rademacher and we are going to add and subtract polynomials. Here's our first polynomial. 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. And we're going to add it <clears throat> to the second polynomial which is negative 4x to the third plus 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. So here we go. We're writing the first polynomial and we're adding the second polynomial. Notice that when you do this, you can remove your parentheses after which we are going to add like terms. And we're going to put the terms in descending order. So first we write the cubic term, then we write the quadratic terms, right? Highest power 2. Then we write the linear terms, power 1, and then we write the constant terms, which are degree 0. So ne negative 4x to the third won't be added to anything because it's by itself. But 3x squared plus 3x squared will equal 6x squared. 2x minus 5x will equal negative 3x. And negative 5 plus 7 will be positive 2. Thus, our final answer will be negative 4x to the third plus 6x squared minus 3x plus 2. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to subtract polynomials. And in fact, we're going to use the same polynomials. So we'll have 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 minus negative 4x to the third plus 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. So we can remove the parentheses from the first polynomial but with the second polynomial, we're going to distribute the negative sign. So we'll have 4x to the third positive because negative times negative is positive. In fact, whenever you subtract a polynomial, you change the signs on the polynomial. Now we're going to write the resultant polynomial, that is, a combination of these two polynomials in descending order by power. Okay, 4x to the third will lead. There is no other cubic term. But look what happens to 3x squared minus 3x squared. Okay, we're going to group them first just to make really obvious what we're doing. And thus our answer is going to be 4x cubed 
plus 0 <coughs> x squared plus 7x plus negative 12. That is 4x cubed plus 7x minus 12 is our answer. Okay.